everybody and welcome back to Evil West. Oh my god, it's gonna make me do all this again. Oh, I forgot I have guns. No, 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 don't die. Oh, so good. So, so good. Jesus Christ. Alright, cool, cool, cool. You are waiting. There's gotta be spiders in this. I've seen my share of tech architecture, but that that's something. Thinking I found it inside. Does it make me do all of this again? Skill tree? Ooh, that's kind of nice. I guess this is a good one. Go beans, go beans. I tried to hold L1 to block. Because there's no humans down here, this is gonna shoot, isn't it? Let's go spit. Or apparently. Oh, oh. That's kind of annoying. Whew. New lore. The screeching devil. Blah 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 Hey, it says it screams. This is like a signal. Uh, that's annoying. Nope. Is it stuck? Not hey, enough. What is all this? Of stuff. That's a great design. Gotcha. 
Love it. Couldn't I have done that from either way? <coughs> we are a unique species, brothers and sisters. We are not bred. We are not born. We come to life when we accept the gift of change. Our powers are many, and they have served us well. The art of glamour has given us safety through secrecy, but I am afraid we are becoming the victims of progress. Sooner or later, human technology will find a way to see past our illusions. They will expose and demonize us and make us their ultimate enemy. Inevitably, we will become their inferiors. Okay. Is that, is that a Spider Jesus, King talking? Mm -hmm. they build this? And how? Ugh. Oh, Jesus. Go away. Whoop. So good. What? Well, let's crash their little party. This game is so well made. We consider ourselves proud oh, hunters, hunters, predators, but that pride sometimes prevents us from growing as a species. Internal divisions have weakened us. Our numbers dwindle while their numbers grow. But it's not too late. We can still survive. But to do so, we must be ready to adapt. We cannot be too proud to evolve. I mean, that's not, that's not entirely the problem. I knew it. Yeah, they didn't hear that. We won't stand the chance. What are the gunshots? We might be more powerful, but they will crush us with their numbers. 
Enough. Your lines thirst for all out war with the humans endangers us all. Peace of Without the sheep. The wolves go hungry, yes. But the day is coming when the sheep will outwit the wolves. Haven't you been watching, brother? The humans have harnessed the power of steam and lightning. And they grow mighty. If our hubris allows us to grow fat and lazy in the shadows, they will soon have the power to hunt us down like dogs. And so you propose war. War suggests there is a chance we might lose. I propose we strike. With my new asset, we can control the change. Reclaim the Sanguasuja's rightful place at the top of the food chain. Control the change. Are you mad? Even suggesting such a thing is blasphemy. Dominic, brother, these are blasphemous times. While my methods may very well be at variance with our tradition, I can tell you one thing. If we don't adapt, we will perish. Enough. I will not allow even your bastard greed to, to lead us into annihilation. Peter Davala, for the high crime of conspiracy against your own kind. I sentence you and your line to the true death. I told you, Father. They wouldn't listen. We had to try, Felicity Mikara. Our work will be a lot easier if we can help them understand. If we can't... Then... we... Force them to! Actually, be a lost battle. Dude, he was sick. <coughs> oh, yeah, this is going like nothing.
Run! Are you gonna rip the head off? Oh, okay, even better. Two, two, two. We got hit one. I wish I could say I didn't get hit at all. Think you could have brought a bigger knife? Some people get a gold watch when they retire. I got Susan here. <laughs> Should have asked him how to get out of here. Too late. He won't be of any use for a month or two. Wait. What about Chester? Well, what are you gonna do? Now that is how you shape an explosion. Damn, we're late. Now at least we won't be going back to the manor empty-handed. Wow. James Harrow. The people's hero. <laughs> I heard the White House sends him golden toilet paper. As long as he keeps the presidential ass clear of tick trouble. Feed him well. We've got a lot of ground to cover tonight. You're not staying for the presentation? The whole institute is in town. Uh, I'll pass on the corporate back padding session. I don't need another retirement lecture. Here, take this to your father before it wakes up and starts cursing us all to high hell. Great, so I'll just tell him you've traded killing vampires for swimming cheap bourbon? Tell him whatever you want. Fine, skip the presentation. But you ain't getting away from a final drink with me afterwards. New lore. That's not lore. Not lore. I don't care about that lore. Vampire Highborn. Ha, ah, easy. Hey. Home sweet Good morning, sir. I don't even know who he was. Mr. Rant here. At ease, boys. My father in his office. <laughs> Grave nurse with you. He sends his regards. He's afraid you'll try and talk him out of retirement again. I don't believe either of us want that. You know, he did risk his life to get this for you. That's Harrow's trinket. I'm sure you'll both be rewarded accordingly. Edgar isn't some civilian looking for a medal. This is all he knows. Your institute saw to that. My institute? <sighs> this isn't about Agent Gravener, Jesse. We are on the cusp of great progress, great change. Today's presentation is of critical importance to the family. After which... Edgar is family. After which, I expect you to step up to your duties here at the manor. With all due respect, Director, I am a field agent, not a paper pusher. You're a rentier! <sighs> Why must you always make me spoon-feed these things to you, Jesse? There are bigger things at work here than running around in caves slaying beasts. I do believe someday soon you will see it my way. And if you don't, it's my responsibility to force that change. Now, leave me be. I must prepare for the presentation. And send someone in here to clean up this mess. That's Mr. annoying. Rennie, Agent Feathers is waiting for you in the lobby. Agent Feathers. Oh, officially they called it a cholera epidemic, but truth was they were dealing with a terrible outbreak of amateur necromancy. The entire institute was engaged in the hunt. All right. Are you Feather? You're just in time. Feather. Presentation should be starting <laughs> soon. What do you got for me this time? Look. Ooh, weapon upgrades. Eh, lame. 
Ooh. These are expensive. That's good. I want that. All oh, those stuff kinda too expensive for garbage. For nothing. You buy upgrades any time? That's nice. That's actually very nice. like that. that. Wait, what, what time? 20 minutes, okay. From my first year of cadet training, I'm the shortest one of the bunch. <laughs> the very next year, I grew like a weed. Had to buy all new pants. Gravener by the stables. He ain't coming in. I heard Gravener's finally retired. Father in all his directorial glory. The artist who painted the portrait, what was his name? Philemon Cole? He was so curious about those gauntlets. Word came back that he talked about them in a local pub, and Father had to give him a very stern talking to. Scared the living piss out of him. Father was a very private person. I'm surprised he ever consented to even pose for this portrait. You can see by the look in his eyes, he wasn't too happy about it. Okay, hey, dead. Back, Douchey. Good to know. Gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, if you'll take your seats. And, uh, <laughs> welcome. Yeah, I'm Assistant Secretary of War, James Harrow. President Cleveland wants you to know how appreciative we are of the vital service the Urentia Institute performs, defending our great country from monsters of all shapes and sizes. He also wanted me to make sure you're not blowing all our money on Mexican Monty, but that's another conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, quite. Well, uh, <clears throat> as I say, keep up the good work. God bless you all, and uh, God bless America. Thank you all for gathering here tonight. It's rare we gather in such numbers, but I believe great progress calls for momentous celebration. Our efforts in the fight against the Sanguisuja's spread have too often been baffled by the creature's most insidious weapon, their so-called glamours. These impenetrable illusions have allowed countless fiends to slip through our grasp for too long. That ends now. Agent Rentier, we've upgraded the standard field agent's gauntlet with something our science gods have affectionately named the Zapper. Not exactly an elegant name, but it does the trick. When triggered, the Zapper sends out an electrical impulse that shatters any nearby Sanguizu's glamours forthwith, eliminating what is not and leaving only what is. Once finished, these new gauntlets will be distributed to cells nationwide post haste, allowing us to sweep our respective territories for glamoured nooks and crannies. This is the beginning of a new age, gentlemen. Armed with this gauntlet, there is no way our enemy can surprise us. Seems like the gauntlet is... In fact, not work great. Right. I got two gold ones now. Mine. Press L1 for. <gasps> I can block. Okay. That is sick. I love it. Gives me old uh, Batman Origins vibes. New perk unlocked. The Zapper. Oh, that's. Ooh. Ooh, okay, okay. Jesus Christ. Oh, Batman, help one piece. Oh, yeah, I forgot about it here. 
What? <gasps> Boom. This thing is awesome. Yoink. Oh my god, this game. Yoink. This is so good. <laughs> I feel the game's too easy. Oh my god, actually. I'm gonna leave it how it is. If I change it's too hard, I'm gonna... Yeah. Another new perk? Break that. Slam them with the arc. Oh my god. I love a game to be. Let me change it. Maybe I can string a rope somewhere. I love a game to be like cool superpowers. Where are they at? Where are you? You explode, those are little bombs. Oh, you throw. Absolutely broken. Love it. You want get Kill these things. Super easy. This thing feels like cheating. Now let's kill it. Okay, let me see. Chill out. Infected Protus grows of toxic parasite, parasitic worm in its guts. It throws these worms as a defense mechanism and they explode on impact. Oh, that was what was killing me. And you. You just. Yes. Thank Christ. Where's my father? Still kicking ass. Last time I saw him. <laughs> Old fool thinks he's still in the field. Listen, he wants us to destroy the archives before these assholes get their hands on it. You get to it, and I'll find Harrow's pampered ass. Meet me out front. Thought he was retired. I thought I'd have to blow up my own house. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Okay. 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 We're going to go ahead and leave this episode here. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you want to continue to see more content like it, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.